to be it's cranking crazy. this. It's crazy. All right, we're back. And we're Can rocking. We yeah, we're good. We're like, this is real. You know who it is. It's your boy. <laughs> you know Uncle who it DC. is. Uncle yeah. DC. I'm here. We're ready to go. 2017. Let's go. Ah, uh, man. So what are we today, talking about? We're going to talk about goals okay. today. Uh, but I want to start. Uh, I haven't seen you in a minute because last week you were at this CEO forum. Ooh, getting a beating. I want to ask you about that. Beat down. What happened? So I joined the CEO forum. Uh, it's about seven other CEOs, local companies here in Boston. Uh, all starts to scale. Um, much bigger than, than where we are as a company and much further along, older. And it's just kind of a closed room, you know, no holds barred. Mm. Now you imagine me. DG knows me, you know. So some could say I'm motivated. Yeah. Some would say. Yeah. Now imagine you gotta be ready. seven or eight other of those kind of individuals in one room, mm -hmm. closed doors, with the sole task of critical feedback. Didn't you have to like plan? Like, didn't you have to bring all of our numbers? Like, you had oh to yeah, plan, every, everyone right? did. Yeah. So, wait, so it wasn't like I'm going to show up and just talk about stuff. You no, like no, 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 you no. dug into the metrics. Yeah, each person has a member challenge, and we go over. I was a new member, so I had to go over. You know where we are as a business, all that kind of stuff. Crazy. And just uh, unleash, ready for for that feedback. But it was a perfect time to uh, set apart two days. You know, I had to spend overnight. You know, morning eight a.m. to to eleven p.m. And, That's late uh, for you. <laughs> late, late. I go to bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> I try to warn them. And uh, and perfect time to spend offline. No email allowed. No laptops or phones allowed the entire time. Can oh, I know. That? I know. I was freaking I, out. It was great. You know? we, yeah. yeah. We, <laughs> so much got down at Drift. We were all here going. like, woo! <laughs> yeah. And uh, perfect time to be offline and spend thinking about 2017 goals. Yeah, so that's so that's what kind of prompted this is you sent and you actually you just before this you published a post to share with the whole team, um, but you kind of sent over you sent your your goals on the fly like you mm -hmm. had to sit down and come up with goals on the fly, and that reminded me like this is the time of year we're planning internally here at Drift for 2017 like let's talk about goals you know personal and and professional so um, this is an obvious question but I want to hear you say it how important is setting goals. So important, man. You cannot, um, I'm trying to think of a good quote, but I can't think of one on the top of my head. But cool. you cannot, oh, actually, I've been listening to Zig Ziglar. There you go. go. Get yourself some Zig Ziglar in your life. And he said, you cannot hit what you do not know, mm. right? And so basically, you cannot aim and hit a target that you cannot see, right? Yep. And so we need to set those goals. So critical. Most of us skip over the part of actually setting those goals. One, two, Making sure you're accountable, and that's part of the CEO group that I that I joined. I had to tell them my goals for 2017, and they're going to hold me accountable for mm. them month over <laughs> month. Uh, so I'm scared, both business and personal goals. Right. And uh, and so it's super important for us to set that goal so that we know what direction we're aiming in. Well, I wanted to ask you because I know that you, I, I knew that you love goals, but I <laughs> the thing that you really I love, love doubling goals. You love benchmarks, though. Yes, and I feel like there's a connection between benchmarks and goals, right? Like mm -hmm. you always push us and say like. There's got to be a metric on this. There's got to be a benchmark. Like why? Why is that so important to go find a benchmark? Man, that great topic. We should do a, yeah, a whole. We could do a whole on, uh, mm -hmm. on benchmarks. I think you know goals. The thing that I've always struggled with goals and most uh, most engineering types um, and OCD people struggle with this is that goals are mostly, especially in business context, but also personal, are largely arbitrary. It's hard to know if your goals are you stretching or not because you usually don't have a baseline from which you're setting a goal. I'm shaking my head because I'm feeling this. So, like, I'm having a set goal, like marketing goals, right? Yep. And uh, talking to Will, and, and he's helping us out, and we're, we're figuring goals. And, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, we got to set a goal. Mm -hmm. But I can't possibly sit here and try to back our way week by week into these numbers. Yep. And so I sent an email to a good friend, friend of the podcast, Mike Volpe, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. one of our friend of the family, friend of the family. One of, and, and I said, like, how do you come up with marketing goals? Like, I know we have a lead go a goal and a traffic goal. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you're thinking about it wrong, right? The point is not to have day by day, week by week, week by week math. Yes. But he's like, he used a golf example to teach it to me. So his, his, is that, his, is that how you understand? Yeah. It? Was, he got to dumb it down. <laughs> his example was if he said, if I set a goal to, to shoot 95, even though I can shoot 90, 
then you're gonna then you're gonna sandbag and it's not and you're not gonna promote the right behavior. Mm-hmm. But if you've never broken ninety in your life and you set a goal to shoot eighty nine, then throughout the whole year that's gonna promote all the right behavior, right? You're gonna go out and do you're gonna practice a lot. You're gonna take lessons. You're gonna mm-hmm. lean on other people. And so when he said that, that opened it up to me that it's exactly what you said, right? It is arbitrary. Mm-hmm. It's not a line by line. Here's how we're gonna get there. It's more of a like here's a direction that we're going in. Are we on track to get there? Exactly. And this is where benchmarks come in because so usually you're setting an arbitrary goal Mm. based on some history, some experience or what have you. You don't know if that is high, low, medium, what have you, because um, you don't have anything to compare it to. So I'm a big fan in the business context and also in the personal context uh, with benchmarking. So like if you're into golf, let's say, or you're into basketball, you're into weightlifting or or you're setting business goals, you can look at other people who are like you. Mm. So uh, like you and maybe ahead of where you want to be. So they're like, oh, that guy looks just a little bit bigger than me, right. right, from a weightlifting standpoint. I think we're about the same size, same height, same age, same athletic ability, but he can bench, let's say, 30% more. So you're so like, what What did he do to get there? Yeah, so, it's, so you know at least if he shares all these common car- characteristics with you and where you want to go, you know that it's possible. Right. right. We know for sure that looking at him, he's probably not superhuman. Right. And so you can probably get there. Same thing with business and why it's so important on business side. For us, I'm, I'm a fan of benchmarking or modeling, as I like to think about it. And it's like if we're a SaaS business right. or a certain size in a certain type of market, let's look at all of the SaaS information that we have uh, for companies of, of when they started. So the same age that we're at, um, how they ramped from a sales, marketing, product, kind of cost standpoint and revenue standpoint. And let's see how they looked in year two, year three, year four, year five. Let's look at the best in class. Let's look at the worst in class. Let's look at the median and understand, like, where are we? And kind of use that to help set our goals and mm. trajectory. How Okay, so this is this might be specific to us, but I'm going to ask anyway. How, how formal does goal setting need to be? Because, like, you know, you look at some people, they have, like, you know, spreadsheets for days and you look yep. at somebody like i feel like what you sent was just you if you're listening you don't see it but you just basically sent over like you know three bullets yep and to me that was so clean and simple mm-hmm. and a good framework for this i sent over three areas and then three sub bullets within each area yeah. so the power of threes yeah. and uh and so it's very simple i think it, that's as deep as detailed as you want to get as you want to get and i think some people over you know, over spreadsheet this and over analyze this, and then uh, it's just going to be hard. More than three goals, like I listed there, are going to be hard to achieve. Mm. Mm-hmm. Power, rule of three, power, the power of, threes. of threes, man. I don't know if we we can't we can't elaborate on that. We can't get into that. That's a different <laughs> podcast. That's top yeah, secret. Yeah. We can't share yeah. all our secrets no. here. We share some secrets this with is, seeking that with one's some people, too good. but some of them we got to hold back. We need some advantage here. Yeah. Uh, okay. So. You've been like, you've, you know, this is your fifth company. Everybody has all these different processes for goals, right? You have Google and you have OKRs. Yep. You have Benioff and Salesforce, V2 Mom, right? Um, HubSpot, we had um, MSpot, which are based on V2 Mom. Is that stuff important? Or is it to each company you kind of figure out what? I think each company creates their own uh, environment that works for them. I think it is important to, at some point, and we're, you know, uh, once you have teams of teams and you start to get into that post startup phase, as we talked about in the last episode, and you start to go into that initial scale phase, it becomes important to start to set goals like that uh, transparently within the organization because now you have managers and you have people who are working within teams that need clarity on where to go. And I think that's one area where we can improve a lot in 2017. Mm. All right. So what, what's our takeaway from, from this? Is it go out and set goals, like start with just sit down and actually write them out? Sit, sit down and write those goals. Uh, try not to go more than three three goals. You can have some sub-bullets, maximum of three under each, uh, each goal, mm. right? That would qualify that goal. Uh, find, find an accountability partner, either in your company or personally, and publish those. Better yet, why don't you publish them on Medium or on your blog post or Ooh. on Twitter and, and hit us up. We'll hold you accountable. I'm good at holding people accountable. <laughs> that is true. CCD cancel. I like that. I'll make sure you're accountable. That's so a, I'll be your accountability partner, that's a great free idea. of charge, 2017. And then uh, once you have those two things, uh, if you can, look at benchmarks when you're setting those goals, right? And uh, so that you know that it is possible. 
Will you go like, all right, so your personal goals, business goals, like, are, is this like a little Evernote thing or, or she, are you going to go look at this every now and then, like as a reminder? Usually I don't. You just, uh, you just know what they yeah, are. Yeah, I'm usually, but now that I'm, I've set these publicly yeah. and I set these with uh, my peer group, yeah. I'm going to be looking at them each quarter and making sure that I'm on track for those goals. Cool. All right. So go out there before you set those goals. We need something though. What's in exchange? Yeah. Just one small thing. Okay. Uh, there's a meme floating around. I've actually seen about this. There is? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You man. asking for something. <laughs> Five stars, baby. Let's go. We're getting there. We're making, so- we're making a dent, but we need you to come in. Stop holding back. It's the season of giving now. Yeah. Stop holding back. Stop being stingy. Yeah. Get out there. Guess what? What? My man DG here, mm. he created a blog post. You mm. go over to our seekingwisdom.io. That's true. You'll see one of the top blog posts he just created there is how to leave a five-star only yeah. review on iTunes. Actually, it was so easy. I did it eating a sandwich at lunch. And I did made you? A, yeah. I made a video while I was eating a sandwich mm-hmm. of how to leave a review. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to put in the show notes of this in every episode. So you don't even have to go find You don't have to go find it. It's there. Yeah. In case you do, seekingwisdom.io. Yeah. Five stars only. You can rate us on iTunes, mm. Stitcher, SoundCloud. Overcast, uh-huh. Overcast, whatever, uh, Twitter, yeah. Instagram, yeah. whatever you want to do. Sure. Five stars only. We have a movement starting. Come on, this is the 2017 is the year. Yeah, we need a head wisdom. start because in 2017 we're going to be one of the top uh, business podcasts on iTunes. Now that is a goal. So help us. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll top talk to you next. Podcast we'll talk to you next week on iTunes. Let's go. Five stars, Uncle DC. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Out. <laughs>